Good morning. Uh, it's hard to tell. Hopefully I can do this in the edit and brighten it up because she's in the back with all the mylar. Oh, uh, it's nice and cool, but uh, that's right. Co-pilot, London, unicorn expert and wrangler uh, is, uh, is with us and she is spicy this morning. Spicy. Uh, what did you have for breakfast? Sausages? Sausages and cereal. Cereal and sausages, they're breakfast of champions. And mom, I mean daddy shared sausages with And I shared sausages with her, absolutely. Trying to keep the protein high and the carbs low this morning, people. Uh, so, sit rep, it is 9.30. We are 30 minutes behind schedule. Um, we're not blaming grandpa. Um, it's, um, mm, um, we are in Medina, Ohio. We are charged up to 86%. We have a five-stop strategy for charging. Let me add to that. We have a five-stop charge. Any number of bathroom breaks in addition with the four-year-old and the 81-year-old. That is, that is the lesson from yesterday. You can run a military campaign, but it's like the battery, the blood is gonna win. Um, or the poopsicle, or whatever else is going on. So yeah, we have a five-stop strategy today. Um, <clears throat> and uh, with any luck, that will get us into uh, our Airbnb in New York, or Tenor Fly to be precise, um, at uh, just before 7 p.m. Um, so this is exciting. Um, I think last night was tough. I'm going to be honest with you, last night was tough. So as always, please, uh, if you don't want to watch all the driving, that's absolutely fine. Go into the description. There's timestamps. They're clickable. You can fast forward to all that and just learn what we're learning as we're learning. What we're learning right now is that Miss London is uh, going to be using her iPad in anger today. Uh, I am just connecting a better route planner to uh, our, there we go, so our exact strategy, here comes grandpa, dun, 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 dun. exciting stuff, uh, but uh, our first stop uh, is going to be the Walmart in Clarion. Uh, we should pull into there with 18%. It's a 135 mile drive. Uh -huh. Let's see how this goes. Right. You have a good day. Competition, but right now, Mrs. Regular EV is approaching Holiday City um, on the Ohio Turnpike. Uh, she is approximately, oh, I'm gonna say, well, she's the other side of Toledo. Let's see what, uh, let's see what it says if we wanted to get to her. How long would it take? She's, um, Let's see what the answer to the question is. Dun, dun, dun. Well, just turn that down just a little bit, would you? Holiday City. All right, I'm setting your destination to Holiday City. 
two and a half hours behind us. All right, let's uh, let's see if we can win this. sign for New York City so uh, at least we're going in the right direction uh, over at uh, Team Fossil Burner watch out vehicle on shoulder ahead the uh, the dinosaur juicers have got a coat have got an additional uh, a hitchhiker apparently as they were packing up this morning a dragonfly flew into the uh, into the van he has refused to leave. Apparently he's heard that Broadway is opening up and this is going to be his moment to shine. Situation report. It is 11:42. We are four minutes out from the Walmart in Clarion, and this Pennsylvania, this is going to be a quick stop. So we're only going to be in for 10 minutes uh, of charging. Never know what the situation is with the. Uh, We have to. We'll take the uh, we'll take the hard charge uh, to 40 points. Uh, otherwise, we're well, actually that's what we're doing. We're coming in at 28, charging to 41, and then we have uh, just a 40 minute drive, and then a deeper charge, and that's the one that's going to take us, I believe, through the hills. So and uh, a two hour drive. So. 
Well, we are. Uh, we came in. Uh, interesting situation. As you'll see in the review uh, for, for the for the website. Uh, all except the four spaces for the Arch America are being utilized right now on this side of the car park for selling garden wares um, and, and the like, but they have carved out this space. Yes, I did park this badly because this is an in and out job. And there's no one else here. I did meet two people. Uh, who wanted to know more about electric vehicles and how quickly they charge and da da da. They're absolutely amazed that I'm bring, you know, brought this thing all the way from San Francisco in, in three days. Um, so we're, uh, we're charging up, charging curve is fine. We came in at 22%, held 126 through to 40% and changed, dropped right now. We're at 45 and a half, we're at 103. We're overcharged. Um, a little bit but that's fine uh, grandpa had to make a bathroom stop uh, we'll shred some of this energy in a minute we are going to uh, sheets in uh, no we're not where are we we're in Clarion so our next stop is Walmart in Dubois um, that's currently scheduled for a 24 minute charge we then have a longer two hour stint to Bloomsburg so a uh, bit of wind picking up and my biggest concern if it is something is we are hitting some rain uh, we did just come through some showers it's noticeably cooled down it's actually below 70 degrees that's it for me call coming in speak to you soon all right so you know, here's the most critical of issues when I'm charging I'm getting the stuff done we can deal with the, the rest of it afterwards Current situation with Mrs. Regular EV, who driving the fossil burner. Uh, she is currently doing well in excess of the speed limit. Well in excess, and apparently I'm the bad driver. Um, she is 133 miles behind us on the Ohio Turnpike, somewhere around... Where is it? Um, Strongsville. Uh, Middlesburg Heights if you're familiar with the area so um, we have hit traffic uh, more more construction um, uh, I love how these things always happen on, on the hills so the trucks have to slow down um, but there are multiple slow traffic reports from ways over the next uh, five or six miles so it looks like he's gonna, you know it's bad when the van the, the truck that's actually putting out the cones comes up the inside where you can't be and overtakes you um, so yeah we're going into standstill traffic unfortunately for a while it is what it is all right it's uh, just gone 12 30 we're pulling into Walmart Dubois uh, actually came off one junction before I actually thought you know let's drive through Dubois and let's see what uh, is, is, is here very classic post-industrial town um, only changed our timing by a minute and so uh, we're uh, we're gonna pull into Walmart and uh, According to this, charge for 27 minutes. And we all know that's not always true, so we're hitting, going for 77%, coming in at 31. Uh, so we will uh, we'll see how long that actually takes, and then from Walmart, there's a very quick exit back to the freeway. So this will be our lunch stop. Everyone's having something, ha everyone's having something healthy today. Salad today. Uh, and uh, yeah, see you on the freeway unless something crazy interesting happens, which I doubt.
Well, hi from uh, your regular EV dad John here and uh, Miss London who is currently having a moment with her unicorn. Um, she is, if you're not aware, like Sophie, a unicorn expert. Does your unicorn have a name? Majesty. Maj Her Majesty. No, Mother's Day. It goes hard. It's, it's Mother's Day. Her, your unicorn is called Mother's Day. So, situation is, uh, we pulled in with 20 odd percent state of charge. I'm just looking at the thing. Uh, 20, yeah, nearly 30 percent state of charge. This is just an over overrun because of, of bathroom breaks at Clarion. Uh, this is one of the ones where we can't afford to screw up. So we are charging to 77%, uh, which will take us just a little while. Um, it's forecasted 27 minutes. And the reason being is that we've got a 140 mile stretch to Bloomsburg. Now my understanding, taking a quick look at it, is that um, we have some hills and some valleys. It goes through. We've also got weather. Temperatures cooled down. We've gone through rain a couple of times, you'll have noticed. But more than that, the amount of wind has increased uh, substantially. Uh, and it's been an almost constant headwind. Um, it's varied according to windy between. So, a better route planner is reporting it as three and a half miles per hour, which we don't normally worry about. But windy is showing gusts of uh, up to 15. And you definitely feel those coming off the nose. So, uh, we will charge up to um, the recommendation uh, because it, it only had us coming in at 6%. And I think that really just speaks to the, the terrain more than the wind conditions. So, um, we will go to 77%. Uh, it's forecasting that, that it's, there is 17 minutes in a, from now. What is interesting as I've been paying more attention to this is we can actually see we are charging slightly ahead of the curve, um, which is which is great. Currently we're at 50, just coming up on 51%, still pulling at 95. Regardless of whatever it says it's delivering, we're pulling 95. Um, you can't drive on what you don't have. Let's talk briefly about that. I'll do a full site review in a minute, but uh, we like this configuration where the you come in at an angle so you can pull in or back in. Um, we just we like these at an angle because we can treat them as a pull through. You know, it's better for a pull through. You can come in on the side uh, if you need to. You're not just hemmed into those four right angle spaces. Um, we, we like this. It's, it's good for bike racks and everything else. This is, I wish they did this. What's interesting is that you, there's, they've not built a fence around the infrastructure elements, around the, the, the substations and, and, and uh, the like. And you can see they have actually plumbed in capacity for two more units. In terms of the units themselves, these are the newer signets, which we like with the, the quicker software, very quick uh, account authentication and, and charging system. I also think they're quieter as well. And it's, subjective but I think they're quieter uh, externally um, some of the BTC sound like they're trying to take off uh, this one's not so much um, typical configuration four units eight heads one chatamo two 350s um, and yeah it's just working no battery tie-in here so you know and there's no and, and they haven't built in the space they built in space for two additional units in the infrastructure bit but no no battery tie-in so there you go um nothing more interesting here we're waiting for grandpa and then we're gonna, I'm gonna go in and get lunch for the familia and then our next stop will be sheets in bloomsburg we're getting closer we are getting closer
by the way, lunch, Copilot London has got a special treat. She, has, right. a, she has a full patrol lunchbox, which she would never get normally. But it's self-contained and mess free so we did that. This is the lunch that was meant to happen in on day one, day two. But the dogs didn't make it conducive. So um, uh, we're having the goat cheese and the pistachio salty crackers right now. So there's a blue cheese to come and a um, of other ones and they, they disappeared that night I had to myself in Motel 6. Right. Right. You're not aware that I'm not talking to you, are you? I'm talking to them. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's how subtle the camera is. Um, so this is what the cheese thing should have been, the cheese lunch should have been, but it's um, been riding in the cooler and I have to say the cooler, um, link below, was recommended for transporting cheese on distances and you know what god damn it it has done a great job the salt the, everything's crispy everything's salty everything's just as it should be uh and then there's hummus and uh carrot sticks so we're on a oh and there's a yeah there's there's, there's meats yeah it's good this this this, this works so uh, 130 miles of charcuterie uh, will be the section of this uh, of this video all right have fun and onwards we're just coming past uh, Lawrence Clearfield and uh, beautiful, um, cheers, beautiful uh, country we're driving through. But um, I saw a, uh, a Sap Brothers sign. Looks a little bit derelict. I'm not sure if it's still operational. The interesting thing is, that's I think the first one we've seen since Nebraska. And the, um, the only reason I mention it is that back when my now wife, then fiance, and I did our road trip from Charleston to San Francisco, we called in. We went through Nebraska to meet the family that wouldn't be coming to the wedding. And, and don't be like that. They had good reason. Our family only comes together once the crop's in. And it ain't going to change. The crop can't look after itself. It's not, you can't get a dog sitter for you know, however many thousands of acres of Nebraska that need to be looked after. By the way, that goes for funerals as well. We'll cremate you and we'll, we'll, we'll deal with you when we have time to deal with you. And that's fine. That's, that's how life is. That ain't just in Nebraska. That's where I'm from as well. We had uh, my good buddy Ted's wake took place. And yeah, we got drunk. But we didn't do the memorial until after, um, until the spring, um, when 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 the community had time for it without uh, the issue. No, they don't. You know, we have our own way of showing love. Anyway, from wakes to coffee. So on our way, and I, I can't remember if it was the one near Ogallala or not, but along the. Uh, throughout the trip, mentioning of this coffee had come through, how it's the thickest coffee on 80. At the end of the day, what they don't put in, what doesn't go in a cup, they use to resurface the roads. It's strong enough to that. It, 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 it is the kind of coffee you can chew. Uh, it, it really is. I've never seen a, I, I've never seen a Sat Brothers, uh, diesel delivery, but I imagine the coffee goes in the same containers. It was good coffee. And the, the caffeine in it was strong, and I would say it burned a long time. 30 minutes outside Bloomsburg. I'm going to be honest with you, I have no idea where we are at this point. I've reached that level of tiredness, but I'm also entirely cat.
Well, sit rep report time, people. It is just gone four o'clock. Uh, Mrs. Regular EV and the fossil juicer are 86 miles behind us as the crow flies. Uh, we have just pulled out of the sheets in Bloomsburg um, with 80% uh, state of charge, slightly overcooked because for two reasons. One, uh, because there was a hell of a line inside to get coffee because they're not doing drip, you have to use a machine, fine. Um, and they were cleaning a bathroom. Uh, met another guy called John, uh, not in the bathroom, that would be weird. Not there's anything wrong with that. No, John has an e-tron um, and he's on a road trip from Rochester, New York. And uh, he was a thoroughly nice chap. He's charging to 100%, but he's going off into the wilderness. He enjoys the back roads and uh, he's not not a, uh, you know, zoom zoom kind of guy. But, you know, that's fine. Yes? Silly sausage. <laughs> Apparently, I'm a silly sausage if you weren't aware. Um, so, we now have just um, 59 minutes of driving. Sorry, that's not true. We have an hour's drive to East Straubberg, and East Straubberg to a Walmart, then an hour to a Target in Fairfield, and then 25 minutes. So, we've got two and a half hours of driving and 20 minutes of charging. Um, uh, Mrs. Regular EV is doing 77 miles an hour, 86 miles. This is going to be close. But there'll be no running or saying cock. If you know what I'm talking about, put it in the comments. Uh, the weather is, so I'm happy we got an extra 3% charge because the weather's turned against us, it's got wet. We all know that's gonna screw with the efficiency. Um, which for um, for today has been around 2.7 so mixture of speed and weather has been against us um, and uh, yeah wow. I'm gonna drink this coffee two and a half hours we're gonna be done <laughs> minutes out from our penultimate charging. I think it's penultimate. Yeah, close enough. And um, 
you'll never know what you missed because it never happens. However, I did have, you may have seen that I reduced my speed and a state trooper came up the inside and I crested that at well in excess of 80. I had nowhere to hide. And such was the flow of traffic, I couldn't even scrub the, the speed. Um, and I, I commented to my father in law, I said, uh, you know, We're going to get pulled over in a minute. Just, you know, he came up the inside to make sure I didn't pull off to whatever that road was, which is what I would have done in that situation. But he kept going. Uh, I very quickly did start the camera because you have to bear in mind it's part of my comedy act but it's true I'm 13 and 0 for failing to stop and speeding I, I am unable to get a ticket and it's because of the British accent the British driving license more importantly and don't get me wrong I was going to throw the kid under a bus Okay. Dad, yeah. I'm going to throw my dad on the water. She's going to throw water on me. I, uh, no, in the water. Oh, you're going to throw me in the water. There you go. See, what I was going to do is say that she's about to have chronic, you know, having chronic diarrhea, but, you know, yeah. it would have been interesting to capture that uh, moment on the, on camera. And it was just it was never going to happen. Well, welcome to East um, Stroud. Yeah, where are we? We are in East Stroudsburg. East Stroudsburg warm up. It's only a six-minute um, charge for us. I think we must be heading heading down the hills from the Poconos. Um, I was surprised at how much juice we had in, given the speed we had and the fun we'd had. Um, one of the things is Ice by Lady packing charity um, birthday packages. So we're going to leave her alone. Um, and um, yeah, it's weird being back in civilization. Um, I believe this is some form of civilization. So it is what it is. Um, all right, quick stop for us. No one's getting out. We are just going to charge to 60%. And then um, we're going to get out of here and uh, head to Fairfield, New Jersey, which will be our last charge. And that's just a courtesy charge. And then go back to the van. London misses the RV. She's so gonna be surprised when she sees the actual house we're sleeping in for the for the weekend. Um, so yeah, uh, and in terms of um, the uh, dinosaur juice uh, people, they are 69 miles away, um, and uh, according to this, possibly in a harbour freight. Who knows what fun we're going to have tonight. Um, so we're going to... Um, we'll see if we can... I think we may have this in the bag. I, we, I think we're going to win by about 20 minutes. That's my... Not win. It's not a competition. But, London, do you want to lose? Huh? Do you want to lose? Do you want to win? You can't win and mummy win. You, either you beat mummy or you lose. Do you want to lose? Or do you want to win? I'm beat mummy. Gonna beat mummy. There we go. You heard it first. All right. Uh, she's just outside Bloomsburg, so where we just were. Mom, so. Daddy said we can beat you. Yes. Snitches get stitches. All right. They beat mummy. Onwards. See you all soon. soon.
Well, I don't know if you can see this on the time lapse, but um, New York, baby, we're nearly there. You have no, first of all, thank you to everybody who has supported this act of lunacy. It means a huge amount. I <laughs> want to thank my wife for making one of the best and worst mistakes of her life 10 years ago. Uh, this was a bucket list thing for me. It's not done yet, so I'll, 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 I'll save that for when we finally pull into the, uh, into the Red Bull garage. Uh, but, wow, I, uh, I've been blessed to see this skyline hundreds, if not a thousand times. But it means just a little bit more having not seen it for over a year because of COVID and to have uh, and just because of every, you know, five days or four and a half days of driving, whatever it is. Um, which never made any sense, but it was never important to do, be the first to do this in an ID form. But it was important to demonstrate how easy it was to do it. Because this is, this is what does change the world. Not my journey, not my YouTube channel. Trust me, I, I don't have much humility, humility but I have a tiny bit just enough to be dangerous but if you can do this in a car that's in this car that's not a Tesla that isn't a Lucid or whatever else is coming in a regular family vehicle then anything is achievable. Uh, and you look at this journey, and so much of this has been done without, with very little compromise. I'm married. Compromise is in every daily activity. But on this, we had no issue getting through California, obviously. The infrastructure, the Electrify America infrastructure, has stood up, has uh, has worked. We've had one, I think we had one, I'll have to review the tape. I don't think we had, we had one, two, in Iowa we had, so yeah, just after Iowa we had two slow charges, by slow I mean 90 kilowatts. We put that down to the heat. And then last night we had two which had communications issues, um, but they were resolved with 30 second phone calls. Um, that, that wasn't expected, I was expecting more problems than that. Uh, car has been almost flawless. We did have an issue on day two. Um, we had a major software, I will say a major software issue. Not that it wasn't resolvable, not that it didn't resolve itself. But that would be disquieting to a, dare I say, civilian. Wow. Just looking out across the, uh, just coming towards the MetLife Stadium, and uh, which you can probably see, and I'm looking out to my right to uh, and the hall of the skyline is right in front of us. Just, uh, just fantastic to to. to 
to have done it. So close, nearly done it. Still gotta get into town. But, uh, that's gonna happen very shortly. Um, I, I will say more about this. Uh, there'll be a, a, a an epilogue. Uh, I wanna condense my thoughts, but just for the moment to say thank you to all those that supported this thing. To my subscribers, uh, to those that offered advice and data along the way, uh, thank you. And I will leave you with this evening view across the bridge to the iconic New York skyline. See you at the end. <laughs> Well, there's Miss uh, Co-Pilot London there. Uh, are you excited? Are you going to see Mommy very soon? Mm -hmm. Most importantly, we're going to beat Mommy. Uh, Mommy is... Um, it's going to be close, but she's about 25 miles away. Now, she's coming straight in uh, from Clifton. If you're from New York, New Jersey, you may know what I'm saying. So, we just uh, got a quick charge we're going to be there according to google we give, we've, we've got 24 minutes she's got 29 traffic is in her favor we're heading north she is just coming straight in so this is where it gets interesting um this is this is what um i think do we need to put it in sport mode Sure, let's put it in sport mode. Um, we uh, just charged up at the Walmart here uh, because uh, we just, I don't know what my charging situation is going to be, and I do want to. Once we've done the family thing, we are going to go to the Red Bull garage and we're going to get dinner and we're going to do all those kind of things. But I would need to. I don't know how I'm going to charge the Airbnb, so got enough to be dangerous. Um, and of course, the first time you know, I get there, and thanks for subscribing, I had to teach somebody, a Tesla person, about you know, Chatamo chargers, and uh, he thought he could just plug in. He's had it since 2019. Anyway, he also just learned off YouTube. Well, yeah. You got the other lane. Welcome to New York. Yep. Miss London. Hello people, regular EV dad. <sighs> I'm wearing a shirt, I've had a shave, things are abnormal. Um, you're wondering who are the extra people in the car? Can I have some questions myself. Basically I'm working as an Uber driver to pay my way across the states. Uh, so we're closing out the journey. Uh, we uh, stayed with, uh, we were in our Airbnb last night, but tonight is uh, dinner at a, a restaurant that means a huge amount to us and then uh, and then we will go and punch a ticket at the uh, at the Red Bull garage and start the uh, trip on the way back uh, unofficially it's been uh, interesting so uh, not a huge amount for me to say tonight other than 
I will no longer take the piss out of the roads in California. Um, I'm also not going to complain about gas prices or road tolls ever again. Uh, $16 to go into New York? Seriously. Craziness. But I digress. Uh, if you've been following this journey, thank you so much for your, uh, your kindness, for your support, for subscribing, for sharing this. And understand that uh, we've got to go back. So uh, myself and co-pilot London are going to take a week off to be human beings. And then we will start our trip back to California uh, in, um, in about a week. Well, thank you so much. Be safe. Wanna pack your bag, something small Take what you need and we disappear Without a trace, we'll be gone, gone The moon and the stars can follow the car And when we get to the ocean We're gonna take a boat to the end of the world All the way to the end of the world Oh, and when the kids are old enough We're gonna teach them to fly You and me together We can do anything, baby me together yes yes you and me together